Hey guys, it's Kajaticus, and welcome to my first tutorial. And today I'm going to talk about how to speed up your computer. Um, because a lot of the times I hear my friends complaining about how slow their computers are, or how much garbage is on there, blah 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 blah. Um, basically what I'm going to do is I'm going to teach you how to keep your computer up to date um, with all your stuff on it. So it's not going to be faster than when you bought it, but um, it should come close to it, if not, I don't know maybe a little bit slower because you do have extra stuff on it and your hard drive runs slower when there's when the percentage of percentage full is a lot higher so we're gonna start with um, CCleaner, a program called CCleaner so um, if you go to filehippo.com um, a lot of the programs I'll talk about is on the popular download list um, so CCleaner is the first one um, go ahead and download it, there's a green button over here download the latest version Etc. Etc. Here right now. Basically, you open it up. It'll tell you your specs, so that's really nice. Um, if you ever need a quick, um, quick update of what the specs of your computers are, push the anal um, analyze button, and it'll run through all your stuff. And if you haven't done this on your computer, and it's uh, I don't know, a couple months to a couple years old, it'll take a pretty long time. And this number right here, megabytes to remove should be probably over a thousand um, if you never clean out your temporary internet files. Um, so this is a quick way of doing that and it'll speed up your computer by a good deal depending on how much um, cached information your computer has or the cookies that are just chilling out. The next feature of this program is the registry cleaner. Um, so you just scan for issues. Um, again this will take probably a little while. I don't know, 10 to 30 seconds maybe if you've never done this before. Um, then say fix issues. I don't back up my registry because I did it a couple times and there wasn't really anything wrong with my computer after I cleaned it up. So, um, but I do advise you to push the yes button because there's going to be a lot of issues with your registry. The last thing I want to talk about is their pretty simple uninstall feature. Um, so instead of going into control panel and an uninstall program and waiting for the list to generate, this will generate the list a lot quicker. Um, so you can go through this, and I, I would advise you to look through it and see what you don't play and just get rid of it. Because a lot of the reason that your computer slows down is because all the stuff that you that you put on your computer um, and a lot of the stuff you don't need. But I did reformat my computer, I don't know, in June. And it's October right now, so I'm golden for all of these things. Yeah, initially. Um, you can also look through the things that you start up. Um, every time you start up, you can speed up your startup uh, process this way by disabling a lot of the stuff that you don't need. Like uh, iTunes things and, uh, I don't know, OneNote, the OneNote screen, Clipper, uh, QuickTime things. Divix update, things like that that you really don't need. Divix probably updates itself every time you open it. Anyway, and then you can look through your system restore points, etc, etc. It's a pretty good program. Um, I'd advise running it every week, every two weeks, at the, um, at the least, once every two weeks. Um, second program I'm going to talk about is Defragler. Um, and this is a quicker quicker process and a more effective process than the defragment program that you were, um, that Windows uh, provides for you um, simply because you can actually watch its process and it tells you what it's doing, um, how much is left, um, what percentage is left, things like that versus um, the new Windows version which says defragging three hours later it says defragging and you don't know where it's at, how long it's going to take, how long it's been going for, for that matter. Um, so it tells you the percentage fragmentation and it tells you um, how many fragmented files you have. Um, you can click on any of these squares and it tells you the programs that are inside of it. Inside of it. The, uh, the number of files and um, and what file exactly. Like these are just like temporary files. Um, TF2 Counter Strike, Source Client, Keyboard Mega Pack, things like that. Um, yeah, so analyze it and then defrag it. You can do a quick defrag if you don't have that much time or you don't want to leave your computer on. That's also an option. Um, but always analyze before you defrag. So it gives you, um, 
gives you the idea of where where you're at. It's funny this thing's moving because I'm recording. <laughs> Alright, um, moving on to the third program is Malwarebytes, and this is not on File Hippo. So, Malwarebytes. It is free. Um, .org is a, you know, um, technically it's a non-profit organization, but they probably just did it only just for kicks and gigs. Anywho, the, I use the free version, it's pretty good. It does what it does. Um, so you want to do a, a full scan. Don't do a flash scan. Um, I advise you not to use a quick scan, because um, quickly looking through anything could um, allow malware to slip by because malware does slip by antivirus programs very, very easily. Um, for example, you can run ABG and not catch something, and then run malware bytes and find, you know, two or three Trojans out of your computer, and you're like, oh, great. Um, yeah, so this is a program that looks for malware. Malware is very, very uh, meticulous of getting by uh, um, antivirus programs and anti-spyware programs, such as... Uh, Adware. So there's that. And uh, yeah, so the fourth program I'm going to talk about is your antivirus program. I use McAfee, but if you don't want to pay for a subscription like me, um, you can download AVG Free, which is the fourth thing on the list on File Hippo. Um, it's free, it's quick, it's um, it does what it, it needs to. Basically, for a free version of a um, antivirus program, it you know it actually it's pretty good at its job, to say the least. And it is only for Windows. It says right here. Um, yeah. So just download that, run it, all that good stuff. Um, and I am throwing this in because a lot of people, you might say, oh, who doesn't have an, an antivirus program? Actually, a lot of people don't. Um, a couple of people that I've talked to are like just completely oblivious and. You know, Computer illiterate, and they're like, "Oh, I do have an antivirus program, but it's not. You're not subscribed to it, so it doesn't update, and so you know it doesn't have the library that it needs to find the uh, the newly updated um, viruses that come out on the daily." Um, so that's that. I use uh, McAfee. I like it. it. Doesn't really slow down your computer. Um, I say it doesn't really because it does it to a certain extent. Um, Casper Sky or Kaspersky, as I've heard it before, I like to call it Casper Sky, um, is uh, one of the top ones, I think two, maybe, top two, top, the best, best out there. Um, it's about the same, let me check the price real quick. It is very cheap, actually, $70 for three computers. I just bought, um, oh, that's internet security. Oh, it's still it's 60 for antivirus 2011. So it's it's pretty cheap. Um, Ninety dollars for two years for three computers is actually really good. Um, so if you're down with that, then you should you should totally go for it. It's actually pretty cheap. Um, Norton's a good one. Also, I've heard very good things about it, but I've also heard that it slows down your computer. And I did have it on um, defaulted on one of my computers. And I had like, I don't know, nine months subscription to it when I bought the computer. Um, it does slow your computer down after I uninstalled it. After nine months, it, there was a significant um, increase in speed of my computer. So um, if you really do like Symantec, um, I'd say go for it because it's not that bad. Um, 40 for a year. Um, I just bought my McAfee for, I think, 60 for sure though. <laughs> it was a while ago, it was like a month and a half ago. Yep, so that's that. Um, and I want to tell you that, yeah, um, AVG does do its job, and it is free. So um, if you don't want to shell out the money for a subscription, um, go for that. But I do recommend getting, you know, getting a subscription to any of the, uh, any of the uh, better antivirus programs. Okay, the last thing I want to talk about before I close this out is what browser you should use. First off, you never want to use Internet Explorer. Like, you don't see this in any anywhere on my computer. You don't see it on the desktop. You don't see it on my quick bar. You don't see it in uh, my top used dealios.
because it is a piece of garbage. It does let a lot of spyware in. It doesn't have its own defense programs, even though it does say that you have, you know, AVG um, tacked onto your Internet Explorer, or you have um, McAfee scanning on your Internet Explorer. It doesn't do anything. It's not that defensive, and it just lets things through. It tries to make it fast, but it doesn't. So, you know, Microsoft fail on their browser. So, I would recommend using either Firefox or Google Chrome. Google Chrome is a lot faster. I use both because I keep my email, my personal email and personal things on the Chrome, and I keep the YouTube email on my Firefox. So, that's the way I differentiate between the two. But, it, but um, Firefox is a lot slower. Um, maybe because it's more defensive against things, but um, I can't say for sure. So those are two good ones for uh, for Windows. I mean, Safari is quick, Opera is good. Um, if you if those tickle your fancy, you know, if you're used to them, go for it. Just don't use Internet Explorer. Um, and that's all I really gotta say. Um, so. If you like this, push the like. Um, if you like my videos, you know, subscribe, please. Uh, if you could tell your friends about my channel, that'd be great. Um, trying to reel in a couple more subscribers. And whatnot. My ultimate goal at this point is to just keep making videos for fun, but eventually get a computer so that I can uh, I can do um, higher quality videos for um, more graphic intense games such as StarCraft 2, uh, TF2, uh, Modern Warfare 2. Because I actually really like playing Modern Warfare 2. I haven't played it in a while because I've been, you know, doing school and I bought StarCraft 2 and, and, and the week after it came out. And I was doing that for a while. Um, and then I quit WoW. I actually bought Modern Warfare 2 before I started up again. Um, then I stopped when I played WoW. So that's that. Um, thinking about maybe playing WoW again? Probably not though. I don't think I have the time, and my friends are like, you should totally raid and things like that, and you know, it'd be great to put, to fraps, you know, boss fights, put them online, um, do my own tutorials of how to do boss fights and things like that, but I, uh, I just don't have the time right now. Um, so, that's that, um, new computer, about $900, it would take me five or six months with a part-time job, I guess, and school at the same time. Um... Yeah. So, I will see you guys in the next video. Stay tuned for um, the Minecraft video for this week. Um, I might try to kick it out tonight. If not, expect it tomorrow night or Saturday night. And who knows, maybe it'll be a double, double video weekend. Um, so, stay tuned. And see ya.